What's up YouTube, it's Matt Book here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to customize your Mac. So this is going to be the first video of my series uh, customizing your Mac on Snow Leopard. So I'm going to cover three videos here. So one is going to be the menu bar, one the dock, and the icons uh, is going to be the third one. So uh, today I'm going to do the menu bar. So one golden rule for all of those customization videos is back up all the files you replace guys be sure to back up all your files just copy and paste them in another folder be sure to back them up uh, I'm not responsible if you don't back up your files uh, if it goes wrong be sure to always have your backups and you can just go back to where you were in first place um, so yeah but if you follow the instruction carefully uh, there shouldn't be any hassle but be sure to back up again so uh, right for the money bar so for the menu bar, the first thing you need is obviously the menu bar itself. So this is not the default one. As you see, I've got a black one with kind of a glass stripe there and a blue Apple logo. So I've got a few um, pre-made menu bars here. So these are not, I did not make them uh, all myself. So I just took those from the internet. And these are the nine ones uh, I tested myself. So these are 100% sure that they work. Uh, if you download from another website, uh, I'm not sure if they work and all that stuff. So I'll put all of those in the description in a, a file, and then you can just choose from there. And there's a preview in each of those folders. So uh, yeah, it's basically they're all black, but with a few variations. And uh, yeah, that's quite cool. So for example, here you've got an X uh, replacing the Apple logo with a white stripe and all that stuff. So right now I'm just going to show you how to apply it. So once you've got your menu bar, so to have um, a menu bar you need uh, four files or three, depends. Uh, so your extra two dot resources, uh, ND search, oops sorry about that, extras two, ND search thing dot PDF and then the menu extras which is not specially needed, uh, depends. Uh, if your menu bar is black uh, probably it is needed. So, um, yeah, and then your SR, uh, SART file. So, SART and Extras 2 are the main thing. So, if you don't have these two, uh, it is possible if you download it from a website and it's not really black and it's just yellow or something like that, uh, as long as a, as a good contrast with the black, uh, these are not specially in there. But most of the time, all four are in there. So first off, uh, to replace the extra uh, two, oh yeah, as well in the folders you will uh, find an instruction on where to put those and everything. So I'll put that in the description as well. And um, yeah, that's it. So first off, you will need to replace the extras two dot resources. So you're gonna do this in an other Finder window. So uh, sorry about that. <laughs> you're gonna. Um, uh, yeah, just open up a new final window just next to it and be sure to see like both of them uh, next to each other so it's easier. So then just go to Macintosh HD system library. So this is for the extras to dot resources uh, guys. So uh, yeah, then go to frameworks. So frameworks and then you want to go to core. Uh, probably let me check. Oh no, sorry, carbon frameworks. So go to Let's repeat there. So this will also be in the uh, instructions. System library, oops, whatever. System library frameworks, carbon frameworks. Then you go to versions, uh, A frameworks, um, HI toolbox dot framework, then versions, then A. And then resources it should be in here. Yeah. So uh, I know it's quite long, but this will also be in the instructions, so don't worry. So here you've got your extra two dot R S R C. So what you need, you cannot just drag and drop here, and then say replace. It's not gonna work. So first off, you need to delete this one. So just delete this one. Be sure to back up again, guys. So once you want uh, to delete it, you'll need to enter up your password. Then just drag and drop that one, uh, copy it, do not move it, into the resources folder. So then you'll need to put up your password again. So for everything you do, you need to put up your password. So that's for the extra two dot resources. So uh, you're done with that. So really super easy. I mean, super easy, you just need to replace it. 
and then the S R S A R T file. Sorry about that. Uh, we're gonna do that one because these are the two main ones uh, you'll need. So yeah. Uh, then for this one, you it's a little easier. You're gonna go to System Library, and then you're gonna go to Private Frameworks, and then you wanna go to let me think, guys. Um, core UI dot framework uh, versions a resources and there it is so uh, you should see the SRT file dot bin if it's not there that means you're not in the correct folder uh, but you should have find it so enter your password again and just replace it as the previous file it shouldn't be that hard and yep so that's it for that one and then you got two things so you got the menu extras uh, which we're going to do right now so in the menu extras if you have those uh, you'll have to go to probably a Macintosh HD system library uh, I think core services and then you go to uh, menu extras there you go so here are your menu extras so again select them all and delete those and they should be all deleted and then select those all uh, you got and put them in there so it shouldn't take that long so that's it for the menu extras and just one more is the is the white thing it's just a white image of a PDF but actually it's only for the oops sorry about that. uh it's for the spotlight to be white so that's why uh, not especially in there uh if you download it like a uh, a light colored menu bar so uh yeah I'll just show you how to do this so I'm not sure where you have to put those so let me just check that cuz I never changed um the spotlight always stays white for me so I'm not used to changing that quite often uh, so to change that hmm course services okay so uh, for the MD search menu icon dot PDF uh, you wanna go to uh, Macintosh HD system library course services and then uh, search bundle so right here you've got a shirt bundle with a little Lego um, it's a little Lego piece. And then you're gonna right click that, show package content, and a new finder window will pop up. Go to content uh, resources and it should be wait, let me check. Yeah, right here. So right here you should have a black PDF. So uh, for me it's white since I already changed it, but this should be black. So delete this one put your password uh, and put the new one in there Ploop it in there Ploop it. and there you go so then you're done with all replacing all the files so now you should be quite done so if you have uh, oh yeah one thing here guys uh, do not touch the menu bar right now do not touch this like do not click on the buttons because especially not on battery because then you read yeah, you need to redo the thing and because you're gonna see there's gonna be some weird lettering on the battery. So just don't click on the menu bar and uh restart your Mac. So I'm gonna do that right now. Uh and I'll be back to show you it actually worked well. And if there are any problems I'll tell you about that. So yeah, I'll be back. So I'm back here. So as you see I just uh restarted my Mac. You can also just log off and log in, but I just have the feeling it works better when you restart it. Uh so right here as you see I just uh we logged on none of my applications are running right now so right here it just should have changed your menu bar and everything should be clickable so be sure that everything is clickable on your uh, actual thing so for me it's working great uh, so as you see boom 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 this is all working uh, so that's great um, yeah I hope you all like this tutorial it shouldn't be that hard uh, only thing that can happen if you download it some random file from the internet and doesn't work is you get some weird stuff here so for example here you get weird lettering like uh, some code or some weird stuff and you don't really get it uh, that's normal that's why you have to back up your file so uh, to be sure you can always get back to there um, 
And yeah, so that was it. That's sure how to change your menu bar on Snow Leopard. Um, there's an app called Magnifique on Leopard, which does the whole theming and everything for you. But do not, do never use uh, Magnifique on Snow Leopard. Uh, just wanted to point that out because uh, it will screw up your whole Snow Leopard. Uh, and you have to reinstall Snow Leopard now, you'll lose probably all your files. So, uh, uh, do never use Magnifique on Snow Leopard until a new version is out. So, um, yeah, be sure that it is working for Snow Leopard. So that's it for this video. Thanks for uh, watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, down there, you'll find yeah my contacting stuff and all that stuff. If you have any problem, you can comment me, uh, email me, Twitter me whatever or a uh, personal message me uh, I recommend if it's just a small problem just uh, comment so uh, yeah thanks for watching uh, yeah that's it for me peace